Welcome to another episode of Enterprise AI Explainer Series. I'm here with Ben Koo, CTO of Box. My name is Meena Ganesh, Senior Product Marketing Manager for AI at Box. And today, we're talking about how to trust AI with our data. Ben, we've talked about RAG. We've talked about secure RAG. We've talked about how companies should be approaching AI, but they're hesitant to do it because of all of these data leakage problems. Yeah. And oftentimes when models are hosted, that's not always very transparent by these providers, right? So how can enterprises approach yeah. when it comes to trusting AI? Yeah, um, the, the short answer is uh, only ever give your data to companies that you trust, mm -hmm. um, any data, uh, whether it's uh, with for AI or not. Um, but but this is a very serious problem that we hear a lot from our customers, which is that um, they're very worried about, um, I mean, they're very aware that doing AI is going to potentially bring a lot of benefits. It's going to help them uh, uh, serve their customers better, lead to internal efficiencies and so on. But if you can't trust the AI, then you can't trust um, the, the uh, you won't, you won't even start. You won't even know how to begin the, this journey to be able yeah. to, to, to get AI. There's sort of this um, challenge, which is that, uh, in, in AI, like people will talk, they're like, they need to get data. Like, and so the AI models kind of are hungry for data all the time. And then enterprises look at their data and they're like, well, they might be hungry for my data. Um, and so this leads to this, this, this fundamental concern, which is a real concern. So um, in general, like what's the biggest concern with data security in enterprise? Like what, what, what would you think of as like the, the worst case scenario? Probably something like a data breach. Yeah, so, um, so maybe a scenario like like imagine that we're doing uh, due diligence on something. Maybe your company is going to acquire another company. Mm -hmm. So there's like HR data about the people, and then then who they are. There's there's data about like some you know IP. You know there's data about all this stuff. Like very fundamentally financial yeah. information. Yeah. And then so imagine that um, like AI is pretty capable of being able to go through and be like, I'm going to help you like prepare a risk report, or correct a summary of this this deal we're going to do, and help the the legal team and help everybody else to kind of do the thing you might need in that very critical set of data. Mm -hmm. So um, imagine that somebody uses an AI model, um, uh, maybe just a, a, uh, from an application that's available to them. They just paste their things online or do whatever. Um, and then, uh, you know, sometimes they have the like, you know, is this a good answer? And you're like, yeah, this is great. Like, thank you. I've got like, this was super useful. I'm way better at my job now. And I can, I didn't have to do so much work uh, to be able to do all this. And I got a really good risk report and so on. Yeah. But um, I think if you look at the terms of service of many of these vendors, they're pretty open about it. And they'll say like, it even has an option in many of these these like uh, um, the the online services, and they're like, "Can I use your data to then train this model?" And and they're and then they, you know they're typically like good citizens. And they try to cleanse things and so on. But like, do you want your data to then turn around and be used in a training run? Because that's exactly what'll happen. Is um, if the settings aren't set to say don't do that, or if you don't trust that 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 uh, vendor, if they don't have that option, they can then take that data and say, "Oh, well, I'm glad that I can then generate this," and it becomes basically part of the model. And so not only did you have a moment where you like temporarily like made this data available, but it would kind of it gets embedded into this training runs of these models, like kind of like they don't unlearn very easily, like or at all. Like so, this is kind of the worst case scenario for many enterprises, which is that yeah. it is um, the data becomes uh, like permanently leaked. And wait, so we we've talked about so many different concepts like RAG, how AI can help drive that productivity, and especially you know the scenario that you talked about, right, uh, where it's helping going through these documents, not miss things, surface the right insights. But you're right, like enterprises will not want these third-party hosted models to be trained on their data. I mean, is the answer that they just use their own, like they host their own models? No, I mean, so so the 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 challenge will be that like um, you have to at all times trust the the AI models and the vendors who are providing these these models to you um, to to make this work well. So um, uh, in, in many ways, this is kind of like when um, uh, maybe not that long ago for some people is when you started to go to the cloud or use SaaS applications. There's this big question of like, can I trust? my data, my enterprise sensitive data, like some of the same data, for somebody else to be able to, 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 um, to, to uh, uh, store it, to mm -hmm. collaborate with it, the kind of things that maybe Box does. Like, and, and so like in some companies where like, they needed to uh, make sure that they were comfortable, and so you need to have, like, for that Box, we spend a lot of time like making sure data is secure, making sure it's encrypted, making sure that the data in Box is more secure than the data outside of Box, and it's fundamental to who we are and, and in, other, in other platforms as well. Um, and so uh, it's similar to this when that if you're going to do AI, you need to actually trust not only that vendor who's going to do AI for you, but also the vendors that they choose. Mm -hmm. And so for something like the cloud, like we use things like GCP and AWS and and uh, Azure and IBM, and these are our cloud providers, um, which are very upfront about in the 
uh, GDPR sense, these are called subprocessors. So they actually have a moment to, to touch the data. But luckily, these kind of vendors are also extremely trustworthy. And these vendors are also very, um, uh, like most enterprises will use some of those vendors themselves. And so, and, and for somebody like Box, we don't use non-trustworthy uh, subprocessors because then you would have um, it, uh, a chance that even if they were good intentions, they might uh, not necessarily, like if they don't have all security pr uh, uh, procedures in place or if they're not good with the securing the data, then you, you have a challenge. So um, this kind of approach of securing your data is sort of analogous to the history that many people have had, which is that you should only use like secure um, uh, uh, platforms for this kind of uh, need. Yeah. So it sounds like for using AI, it's actually more than just filtering out that input output. I mean, do enterprises have to rethink their whole stack? Well, I'll say that there's probably four things that whenever you're going through any 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 um, uh, uh, thinking about AI on your on your content. Uh, so four questions. Like number one. Um, do you trust that vendor? That's kind of the most mm -hmm. important thing, right? Yeah. Um, and then uh, number two is, and this is an AI specific one, is um, do they guarantee they're not going to train your data? Like even if you trust mm -hmm. them, like uh, like like some of them are straightforward. They're like, I want to train on your data. Like, will you allow that? And most enterprises would just say no. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of thing where it's like, if you don't have a contract with it, if you're if you're an enterprise and you don't have a contract with this this company that you're going to like give your data to, like it's probably already an issue. So you kind of want a contract and you want it to be specify the things that like all a box contract specify, which is like, this is exactly how I treat your data. This is exactly how audible it is. It's exactly our, our, our obligations. And so, and then it, we'll, we'll say things in there. Like, this is exactly like, we don't train on your data. That's not our, our job. We're not gonna, not only are we not gonna do it, we're not gonna allow our vendors to do that. Um, and so, uh, so uh, uh, trust, there's the idea of, of um, the guarantees of, of not training. Mm -hmm. And then there's transparency. Like, cause at some mm -hmm. point, like you want to be able to say like, um, uh, I, I need to know who they are trusting. You know, like mm -hmm. so if we trust, uh, yeah, GCP, AWS, and, 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 and companies like that, like well, like they need to know that because that's part of, of their of their um, the way they think about things. And then the fourth is is control. Like maybe you didn't want to use that vendor. Maybe you choose to do something a little bit differently. Like can you have the options to then pick uh, those models? Or, and make sure that like you can turn it off or on, make sure that you have it logged appropriately. So not logging the data, but logging the interactions so that you know at all times what happened. Mm -hmm. So these four questions are the ones that you should ask. And then um, the good news is, is that if you have these answers of yes, then I, I think you're good to go for, for um, using AI on your data. Okay. Uh, interestingly, you mentioned uh, you know some of the more famous players in the ecosystem, yeah. right, who are hosting models like AWS, GCP, et cetera. Yeah. What about open source models like DeepSeek? Yeah. So, so for all models, like you can always like like um, uh, rent GPUs or get GPUs and then host them all yourself. Like um, uh, now, interestingly, like that actually doesn't necessarily change what I said before because mm. like the the GPUs will process your data. Like and mm -hmm. so you most companies don't go buy GPUs and put them in their claws and rack them. They they rent them from one of these same vendors. So no matter what, even if you're doing an open source model, you kind of want to like you always have to have that same question of like, do I trust and, and then do I have all these guarantees? Mm -hmm. um, but and then for something like one of the open source uh, models, like um, something like DeepSeek, um, the, the the question, the first question is like, like um, who's the one who's hosting it, and who are they, who's providing it to me? Mm -hmm. Because um, like like AWS and GCP and, and others, they actually host these kind of open source models, and so you could um, maybe you don't trust one vendor who hosts it because they're small and they never heard of them or whatever. But you, if you trust like AWS, GCP, uh, like the public clouds in that way, then they then you can be pretty clear that they're gonna you're gonna have the right terms and the right. Uh, set of guarantees in, in my four questions. So mm -hmm. it doesn't, the model itself matters less than the mm -hmm. who's hosting the model. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And it sounds like a lot of these things is what really needs to go into in consideration when thinking about, yes, you know, an enterprise can see the benefits of AI. They can see how it can like accelerate the productivity, all those things that we talk about. But you know, how do we even approach it and what are the right questions to ask ourselves? Yeah. Really the four that you laid out. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So uh, I think it just all boils down to if you don't trust the company with your data, then don't trust them to do AI on your data. That's really the TLDR, I think, for enterprises. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us at yet another episode of Enterprise AI Explainer Series. See you next time.